e4 and d4 are by far the most popular opening moves used in chess. But there are other, less common opening choices, ranging from solid and safe to outright risky and bizarre, used to catch a surprised opponent off guard. Let's take a look at these uncommon openings and learn how to deal with them when they are used against you. Of all the uncommon openings, the most popular is c4. This is known as the English opening. White develops a pawn that controls the d5 central square and opens up a diagonal for the queen. A good idea is to put a pawn immediately in the center with e5. White develops a piece with knight to c3, controlling d5 and e4, and black plays knight f6, developing a knight toward the center. White typically plays g3, preparing to put the bishop on the long diagonal with bishop g2. Notice that all of White's moves help control the central light squares, d5 and e4. Black has several options, including attacking the center immediately with d5, or preparing that attack with c6. Black can also play knight to c6. With so many ideas available, the English is a flexible opening that is often a quiet, positional game, but it can also open up and turn into a tactical battle. Another way to play against the English is by playing e6. Black is ready to strike in the center immediately with d5. And after knight to c3, d5, play often transposes into a queen's gambit declined after d4. The English is the most solid, offbeat opening when white does not open with e4 or d4. Now let's explore some other offbeat ideas. The next opening is a mirror opening to the English opening. After f4, this is known as the bird's opening. White moves a flank pawn to control a center square, in this case, e5. This opening is considered risky for white as it immediately opens up the e1 to h4 diagonal, weakening white's king. One solid way for black to respond is with d5, controlling the center and focusing on simple development. You may notice that the position is a reverse Dutch defense, which is considered a risky defense against d4. After d4, the Dutch defense begins after f5. White does have an extra tempo by playing the Dutch defense with white, but it is still considered risky because white's king has been weakened. After knight to f3 and knight to f6, like many offbeat openings, Black can simply rely on common sense ideas. Develop your pieces toward the center and castle. While white's slightly exposed king may cause trouble for white in the middle game. Another offbeat opening for white is b3. White plays this move to open a space for the dark squared bishop to enter the long a1 to h8 diagonal. Once again, black should control space in the center with e5. And after bishop b2, White fiend shadows the bishop, placing pressure on the e5 pawn. After knight to c6, black develops a knight and protects the pawn on e5. Black is ready to take more space in the center with d5. The Larson opening allows black greater space control in the center, so white will have a harder time developing pieces to active squares compared to black. So far, we've looked at some offbeat openings that are still playable. But now we are going to look at some of the most bizarre openings you may see from time to time. After b4, this exotic opening is known as the orangutan. White is setting up a fianchetto on b2, just like the Larson's opening, but is pushing the b-pawn two squares rather than one. The drawback to this idea is that nothing is protecting the b4 pawn. Like most other uncommon openings, black controls the center with e5. Grabbing the center, and opening up an attack on the unprotected b4 pawn. Against offbeat openings, it is a good plan to focus on controlling the center and finding active squares for your pieces. A mirror image to the orangutan opening is g4. This is known as the grobs opening. Notice that it prepares to fianchetto the bishop to the g2 square, but it fails to put a pawn in the center while also weakening white's kingside. Imagine the white king trying to castle kingside in this game. Once again, black should simply control the center 
with e5 or d5 and gain a good game by developing pieces toward the center. After e5, in bishop g2, black should play d5. Black places two pawns in the center and opens up the light squared bishop's attack on the g4 pawn. Let's take a look at one more uncommon opening. After a3, this opening is known as the Anderson's opening. This opening does not help with White's development, but it is at least not as harmful to White's position as the reckless Grob's opening. White basically wants to play with the black pieces with the extra move a3 thrown in. Since a3 doesn't harm White's position too much, White's position should be okay. Again, when in doubt, if your opponent does not control the center, take control of it yourself, such as with e5. Now that you've learned uncommon openings, it's time to put your skills to the test.